a repair video, I finally was able to break a little crack in the uh, boat, hitting with the edge of my steel uh, hammer here. So hitting with the edge, I was able to get through. Now this will take uh, at the most five minutes to fix and four hours later you're going to be back in the water. Here we are with all the tools and the knowledge to repair any thermocorn DDS boat. Either in the field or on the uh, backyard or in the garage or the case is, with a lot of good ventilation. So here, uh, these are pieces of ABS here, different colors. Uh, one side which has the acrylic on it usually has the uh, protective film on it so you can peel that back. That's usually the outside and the inside is usually straight ABS, the main uh, part of the boat. We've got three colors there just to show you. Parts that you're going to need, some tape, some packing tape, a knife, spatula, another splash of plastic, even better. Uh, fiberglass or this is a different hybrid cloth. And then you got three levels of um, sandpaper here. So you got like an 80 grit, 120 and 400. And uh, then you've got the glue. And generally speaking, I'll put some cardboard down and put some packing tape on top of that so I can mix up the glue. Now this is a glue gun that has the mixing cylinder in it. So I don't need my spatula to mix it up. Make sure it's well mixed. So I'm just gonna lay down some uh, and by the way, you should have some gloves, but I don't have any gloves with me, so I can't uh, tell you that. But put some gloves on before you use it. With the about the size of uh, the material fiberglass cloth that I'm using. And then I'm going to lay down the first layer of cloth that I'm going to wet out. Just going to wet that out. I'm going to put some more on top. I have a lot of glue, so I'm being quite liberal with it here. Lay down a second layer. I'm just in a demonstration for you here on gluing these two pieces together. So I'm not too concerned about uh, the ultimate amount of strength. So I'm going to make sure this is completely wetted out. And all you're looking at here is a wet band-aid really is all it is. And then I'm going to pick this guy up and stick it on this, these two pieces of ABS, which I'm intending to glue back together. And that's all I'm going to do right there with that. And just smooth that down. Now all I'm going to do is let that dry. That'll sit there and dry and then we're going to go over and repair the kayak now that I just put a hole in so I could do a repair on the kayak as well. And this time I've got a pair of gloves I can put on actually. I'm on to the kayak repair that I just put a hole in so we can show you what happens. And uh, I'm going to make another little added batch of uh, glue, mix it up a little bit even though it already is perfectly mixed first layer in, tap that down, put the second layer on. In a perfect world, three layers is what you want to use, but uh, this is a good demonstration video for you. Good idea to carry in a, a doubled freezer, thick freezer bag in your kayak tape to the back uh, bulkhead a couple uh, 25 mil cylinders of the adhesive along with uh, the uh, cut pieces of uh, fiberglass cloth in a perfect world if you have it. I'll just pick up the wet band-aid here 
and we'll head over and put that onto the boat. So it's right underneath the seat. And you can see where the crack is right here. It's getting a little dark here, but that's the crack. So all I'm going to do here, put that sucker right on top. Give it a smooth. And I'm going to forget about it now. Come back in four hours and you're good to paddle.